So one of the questions we ask during our strategy sessions and plan creation process is, do you have bets? So we want to make sure that when making travel decisions, we help you choose what is safest and most comfortable for your bet. Hi, my name is Irena Pergomet and I'm Assistant Operations Manager here at Nomad Capitalist. We are a go-to company for all your citizenship, second residency and tax reduction needs. We help seven and eight figure entrepreneurs to go where they're treated best. So before booking a flight for your dog, you'll want to think through all of the options. It is already known that air travel can be risky for pets. That's why we recommend that you weigh all the risks when deciding whether to transfer your pets by airline. Of course, when relocating to another country, there are times when driving by car won't be possible and you'll have to determine whether the benefits of flying outweigh the risks. If you decide to fly with your pet, find out whether they can travel in the cabin with you. Most airlines will allow you to take a cat or small dog in the cabin for an additional fee. But what you need to make sure is that you must call the airline well in advance. There are limits to the number of animals allowed in the cabin. If you're transporting your dog, make sure they meet the size requirements. When you contact the airline, be sure to get clear answers to the following questions. The first one would be, will the airline allow you to take your cat or small dog in the cabin with you? Does the airline have any special pet health and immunization requirements? Does the airline require a specific type of carrier? Most airlines will accept either hard-sided carriers or soft-sided carriers, which may be more comfortable for your pet. But only certain brands of soft-sided carriers are acceptable to certain airlines. The next question would be, if you can't take your pet in the cabin, does the airline have any restrictions on transporting your pet in the cargo hold? Your pet's carrier will have to pass through the security screening along with you. You have two options. Either be sure your pet is securely leashed so you can safely contain them outside their carrier while it's being x-rayed or request a special secondary screening that won't require you to take them out of their carrier. If your pet must travel in a cargo hold, you can increase the chances of a safe flight for you and your pet by following tips such as using direct flights or traveling at the same flight as your pet if possible and notifying the captain about it. If traveling during the summer or winter months, choose flights that will accommodate temperature extremes and most importantly is to fit your pet with a collar that can't get caught in carrier doors. Since most of the airlines allow pets, we're going to list some of those that do not accept them. The first one would be AirAsia, EasyJet, Emirates, Fiji Airways, Flybe, Jetstar Airways, South African Airways, and Ryanair. It is important to note that a dog weighing up to about 20 pounds can fit in the cabin and the excess baggage option is much cheaper than pursuing the cargo option. A pet passport is a collection of documents, health, rabies, microchip certificates, import permits, and others that are required for your pet to enter your destination country when traveling internationally. You can get your pet passport from an accredited vet. When it comes to vaccines for your pets, they may change from country to country depending on where you're going, but the most general ones are rabies and other core vaccinations such as DHLPP, which are mandatory during international travel for dogs, while your pet cat will need rabies and FBRCP vaccines. So we are for sure not experts when it comes to dogs and cats, but we have a pretty good experience with relocating them. Therefore, these are some of the tips that we think that you will find the most usable for. If you plan on changing your life for the better by obtaining a second citizenship or second residency, reducing your taxes in a legal way, and overall creating a new lifestyle for you, don't hesitate to contact us on nomadcapitalist.com.